Warning, this is a pest control video and contains footage of animals being shot. If this is likely to offend, then please don't watch. Please see the description below for more information on this video. There's also some links you may find useful. I come back to the recycling centre for another shoot this evening. I stand outside for change and just have a quick scan around inside, make sure there's nothing that I can see and easily pick off. As there's nothing there, I move inside. And remember on some previous episodes, on the right hand side here, there's often some rats wandering around. So tonight, it's no different. Except this one wanders around and disappears. I'm hanging around a little bit to see if he shows his ugly face again, but he doesn't, so I stop recording. The moment I stop recording, he reappears on the right hand side. So he climbs up and over this stone, disappears into a hole. His friend reappears behind him. Boom. Take a shot on him. The pellet drifts slightly to the left because I'm standing by the hangar door and I think the wind blowing through, which was really quite strong, has shifted the pellet a little. So that means, sadly, the first shot of the evening was a miss. However, when his friend reappears, I do manage to bag him, but he falls into a hole about a foot deep. I can't get my grabby sticks in and I'm not putting my hands in there to retrieve them either. What's this? A pair of eyes? Or a bit of rubbish? If that winks or blinks, I'm putting a pellet in it. I watched it for a little while. It didn't wink or blink, so I moved on. Unfortunately this one was shot off camera because the night sight unit didn't record again. I missed the button, but this one shot on camera. He was shot in the head. See him kicking himself out there, tail going, back legs kicking. Have a look in the description below for the link on disinhibition. That'll give you more information, more detail as to why this happens and what it is. Sitting there trying to be all innocent won't keep you out of trouble. It's another rat down. The pellet on this one went straight through. I'm scanning around I spot this one just creeping along underneath the steel gate. So he gets a headshot. That shuts him down straight away. Just zooming in to keep an eye on him just to make sure that the shot placement was okay. But looking at that jumping and kicking, I'm happy with that. Go for another quick scan about. I spot him in the top right there. There's a little rat trying to hide in the darkness, out of sight. So he gets a pellet too. I get over there to recover him, and he's flipped himself back underneath this gantry stand. And that is what you see there behind those railings underneath the steps in the far corner. In the same area here where I shot the previous one under the gantry stand, this one's by a pair of ladders. So I take the shot, but you can see by the slope how the pellet goes in and ends up and to the left hand side of the rat. The pellet smacks into the ground and the rat gets off. It's probably a crap shot on my behalf, but I don't think it was helped by the gusts and gale force winds that were blowing through the hangar from the right hand side. Let's have a quick scan around on the ground before I change position I'm just about to move up to the gantry and see what I can get from up there you can hear the winds there so just before I climb on the gantry I just want to give you a quick view of what the recycling pile looks like and then again because video can be a little bit deceiving when you're watching it I just want to put some ranges up to show you roughly the sort of ranges that I'll be shooting at so the large circle on the left hand side is me shooting from the gantry directly on the floor in front of me I've got a 10 yard shot or thereabouts on going from the top of the pile on the far left to the far right I've got 15, 22 and 30 yards that gives you a, a rough idea of the ranges that I'll be shooting at see the wind's blown a gale through the hangar Getting very dusty this guy was about 18 yards 
take her down with a headshot there. Quickly zoom in to double check the shot placement to make sure I'm happy with that. The helicopter tail and the back legs kicking to me confirms that was a nice clean kill. Good headshot there. Just have a quick scan about, see if there's anything else in the area. Just move back over to where he was shot. You can see the tail still going. He is dead. Again, check the link below and that explains more about what's happening here. This is disinhibition. It's just nervous activity. This one's running around quite a bit. Very nervous, very skittish. It can probably smell me actually because the wind's blowing in from behind me so my scent's going to end up all over that recycling pile. So when he does settle down he disappears behind a bit of board, a bit of rubbish. So there's no shot on this one unfortunately. There's a little buddy however at the top of the heap. That's a different story altogether. He sat still just long enough to allow me to get a good shot on him. Just zooming in there to have a quick look, make sure I'm happy with the shot. You can see his tail going there, feet kicking, pushing him down the pile. That's a good headshot, I'm happy with that. Cheeky rat trying to hide amongst all that rubbish. He's going to find it difficult to hide from 4.5mm of lead, travelling about 800 feet per second. Tours up time for him as well. I thought this one was going to be another wanderer and not allow me to get a shot on him, but he sat still for just long enough and he paid the price. Good hard headshot there. Big jump and he's down and gone. Despite the first shot of the evening being a miss, it wasn't too bad actually. 12 shot, and 3 of those recovered and bagged up. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe.